Superman was dead at the very end, and that time Bruce Wayne thought he's a danger to the world. Now, how does he think of him now? And with that change, how does that lead to Bruce and Diana forming the Justice League? Well, uh, you know, Br Bruce Wayne realizes now that there's a terrible danger uh, and a terrible threat. And despite his kind of instincts to be solitary, he knows he needs to bring together all of the, the metahumans, the, the superheroes, uh, as it were, and, and create a team to try to save the world. And that includes all these people you see here. And he, he couldn't do it without the help of uh, Wonder Woman. And uh, they become a team and they try to put together a bigger team. 我刚才问他因为在上一部蝙蝠侠大战超人正义黎明当中最后超人其实是死了在最后的结尾那其实对于呃 在这个巨大的一个联盟当中去一起拯救世界，这就是当然我们永恒不变的一个主题了。那我想接下来问一下Henry了. Now we've talked about their Superman. Um, I know you can't say too much about Superman in this movie, right? But tell us, what's the most rewarding part playing this role throughout the years? That is a good question and difficult to answer. Uh, Rewarding, there's many, many rewarding things. But right now, I think the most rewarding thing is being here in China with all of you and standing next to these ah, fantastic let me actors translate that first. who have no, made that the Justice League Very something good. truly, truly special. <laughs> so thank you to you, China, <laughs> and thank you to all you guys for being absolutely amazing. <laughs> 那我刚才其实问了亨利一个问题，我说虽然他不能够剧透太多关于《正义联盟》这部电影当中超人的角色，但是我想问一下他，他对于这么多年扮演这个角色当中最有成就感的一件事情是什么？他觉得其实最有成
uh, my next question goes to you, right? So how does Victor Stone Cyborg fit into the Justice League? Well, Victor Stone, also known as Cyborg, fits into the Justice League because he's made up of the same technology, ah. uh, the mother box technology from the planet Apocalypse. Apocalypse. He's made up of that same tech. So what he offers the crew, he offers them insight as to who the enemy is and how they could potentially defeat them. Mm. You know, he's got data going through him 24-7, and so it makes him a very valuable asset to the team. You love this role, huh? Oh, I love it, man. I just asked Lei Fei if he was going to be able to bring the Justice League to the Justice League. And he said that his technology gave the whole Justice League a whole 24 hours, seven days of this kind of 无穷无尽的支持，所以他在里面的角色也是非常的重要的。Now my next question goes to you, Ezra. Um, 我想问问我们的闪电侠 Ezra， 他有没有为他的角色做一些准备了 ？So Ezra, how did you prepare for the role, the Flash? I'll tell you. Did you run? <laughs> him, him. I'll tell you the thing that's most relevant to tell you right now is that one of the main ways I prepared is by studying. China's very own Wudang Kung Fu wow. in Wudang Shan, China. And I went and I got to train with this guy named Master Yuan. I'm very grateful for the opportunity. And me and my friend, we climbed all the way up to the top of that mountain. Oh, really? And it was glorious. And yeah, and that is one of the practices I incorporated. I also did a bunch of um, dance. I studied some ballet. There's this thing called Petit Allegro, which means tiny fast, which sort of describes the flash. And uh, some, uh, I worked with a choreographer named Zach Winokur to bring in as many aspects of physical choreography as possible to embody this very special, very fun character. Of That's course. my whole answer. Of course. Now I need to translate that. <laughs> Take your time. I asked him if he had prepared for his role. He said he had to come to China to study Wu Dang Shan to be able to do it. He learned to do it. 他学了一套功夫，然后呢，还学了一个叫做小闪电的这么一套呃武打的这个技巧啊，还学了芭蕾，还学了跳舞，整一套东西都是他专门为了闪电侠来这个角色来做的一些准备。Wow, that's amazing. Now my last question goes to you, Jason. Do you see any resemblance, or how did you connect with your role, the Aquaman? How did I connect to my role? Uh, you know, being Hawaiian, being Polynesian, being connected to the water, respecting the water gods uh, from where I'm from, um, honoring, honoring. It was it was really Zach's idea to make a Polynesian Aquaman, which felt very fitting. So I find a deep connection just not only from that, but also. Being raised in the middle of America, kind of two different worlds, not really fitting in in each one. It it uh, I could associate with that, and um, and also yeah, that's it. That's just feels enough. nice to be yeah, in the Justice enough. League, that's right? That's enough to translate. You know what I mean? We 刚才问海王，我说。我说他有没有觉得在这个角色和他自己本人当中找到一些共性，一些可以能够有一些心有灵犀的地方？那他说，其实他其实从小也是这个拜着水神长大的，也很奇怪的一个一个长大的一个信仰了。那他其实觉得在这当中，他也是在比如说在在美国的中部长大，然后就有些很多两种不同文化的一些交织，给他了一些很好的一些感受了。那我也说，其实。最重要的是在正义联盟里面感觉太好了，对吗 ？So thank you for being in China. We wouldn't let you go empty-handed, right? So here comes a very, very special present for all of you for the Justice League from our fans. 那么，那么因为六位真的是远道而来，所以呢，我们的粉丝也给他们准备了一份礼物，让我们来看看是什么。来，我们先请粉丝上来把礼物拿上来。大家都是欢呼雀跃。So exciting! Let's see it. 那我们来看看到底是什么。Let's see it. 我们来看看。
Mr. Squirrel with, of course, the Chinese, the Chinese calligraphy painting. This is just amazing. The Justice League, all of them. 那这一幅是中国水墨的卷轴，我们看到正义联盟的六位英雄集结，相当的有气势，恢宏磅礴的气势。Do you love it? Amazing. Love it. Thank you. All right, now let's take a group photo with it. 那我们来请摄影师给我们照一张，跟粉丝们照一张大合影。Let's take a group photo with it. Now, would you like to hold it? Come on, come on, Jason. Would you like to hold it? Can we keep it? Of course, of course. Now, we also thank two fans. Come on, one more photo, right? Now, with this very vibrant, bright, and Chinese calligraphy painting of the Justice League. 在台上的展示，那么我们的六位超级英雄也是相当的满意啊。Of course you love it, and as a give back, I believe you guys have another present for our fans now as a give back, right? 那么作为回报呢，六位也给我们带来了一份特别的礼物。接下来让我们看看大屏幕，我们欣赏一下全新的，专门为中国这一次宣传而制作的正义联盟的。预告片，让我们来看看大屏幕。Long before I was born, he came as the spearhead of an alien invasion. There's one above law, like all the others. We we have families. Why does everyone keep telling me that? There are enemies coming from far away. I need warriors. You really are out of your mind. I'm not the one who brought a pitchfork. It's on him. I don't recognize this world. We don't have to recognize it. We just have to save it. My man! Yay! 那么预告片肯定是远远不够的，绝对不够过瘾。不要忘记了，十一月十七日全国的影院上映。那么接下来有个非常重要的环节，因为台上的正义联盟即将集结所有的粉丝和超级英雄们，所以当他们说出 “China are you all in” 的时候，我希望你们能够大声的喊 “Yeah”， 好吗？ Are you, are you ready to summon the Justice League and the fans with saying, China, are you all in? Now, China, China are you all in? Yeah! And one more time, Great. Beijing, are you all in? All right? Beijing, are you all in? Now, let's hear it. Beijing, are you all in? Yeah! 好的，那我们的正义联盟就集结完毕了。All right, now the Justice League is ready. Thank you very much once again for coming all the way to China to promote Justice League. Now, let's just hear it one more time for our very own Ray Fisher, Ezra Miller, Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, Henry Cavill, and Jason Momoa. Thank you. Thank you very much.
兄弟联盟的英雄们集结。我是主持人 Natalie 王一之，我们下次再见。Let's do it.